Hello, Irregular Nation. How's all my irregulars doing out there today? I'm coming to you today, Wednesday, during the day. It's my day off throughout the week. Might be a good time to maybe start some uh, live streams on a Wednesday. But I'd like to welcome everybody to another episode of Irregular Rants. And <laughs> today's going to be a pretty irregular one. It's going to be like, whoa, whoa, I told you, on this channel, we're going to talk about everything. And one little movie that's coming out that just, you know, caught my eye, and I was just kind of like, why the fuck are they making this? Is there really a need? Tom and Jerry. <laughs> I mean, why? Why? There's been countless... Um, and like I said, like I told you, everybody, this is just an irregular, irregular rant, okay? I'm not really upset about this, so everybody knows. It's just something fun to talk about and just go, really? Does it need to come out like that? Can't you just make a new cartoon for kids? I mean, isn't that better? Is there some adult calling for a live-action Tom and Jerry? I mean, no different uh, to when there was, was there a calling for Garfield, Rocky and Bullwinkle? I mean, these are all terrible freaking movies that did not do justice to what the original cartoons were i mean these were you know these were kid cartoons back way back tom and jerry came out in geez when was it 1975 was tom and jerry's that's when it first came out and it ended in 1975 after four seasons um and then they also had a new tom and jerry cartoon come out an updated rendition of it with animation and everything in 2014 and that lasted for three seasons so what what in the same hell do you need to make a movie in 2021 for now hbo max put this on like their little preview thing a little while ago and that's why i just went what they, they, what, what this is a movie like they really spent money and people actually want to star in this fucking thing okay um if you kind of go back and go back in time a little bit, you think about 1988, and that's when Who Framed Roger Rabbit came out. Who Framed Roger Rabbit was great. And I'm going to take you back to that preview, and I'm going to show you the preview for Tom and Jerry, and we're going to just do a little comparison of, the, of both of them just to show you that the 1988 Roger Rabbit, in my mind, looks better than the 2021 Tom and Jerry movie coming out. They kind of look like they went a little lazy on their animation. Um, when you look at the way it looks, uh, I don't know if any, I can't for the life of me remember what these things were called, but I did have a set of them because I remember I had them for the real Ghostbusters. Um, you know, if everybody, you know, because if anybody's in the close to 40 range or even in between that, you'll remember making dioramas when you were in elementary school. And you used to have to do them on a book report or whatever. You put out a scene, you get your shoebox, use whatever toys you had. You're making a scene with a background, this and that. Well, they also used to make like these decal stickers, right? And it was like a box set. And they would give you boards. And each board had um, like a different scenery. And then you would take your little decal stickers and you can peel them on and off and always use them. And they were, you know, they looked cool. Um, and you just put them on there and you that was like the way you played with your you know, with your imagination with that right there. And then when I look at the animation for Tom and Jerry, I'm like, damn, I'm like, that's pretty fucking lazy. It doesn't even, it doesn't seem to fit the world. And like I said, it doesn't even look like there's a plot to it. I didn't even know people wanted to see this. So let's have a little laugh. Let's, uh, let's go look at this little preview right here because I need to, I just need you guys to watch this with me so we can just go, what the fuck is this? Cause I don't know what it is. So let's check it out. Let's just plug it in here. And I'm also figuring out that I have to jack up the sound so everybody can hear that, even though I'm going to talk over previews anyway. So <laughs> not all previews, just, just ones that we don't give two shits about. Okay, there we go. We're plizzled in there. Okay, Ooh, that's stuck. Sorry. Okie dokie. All right, let's go here. Let's go right to this. Let's just jack that fucker up. Okay, hit play. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't see it. So, 
so you see, like, <laughs> so as we're watching, like right there, you have Chloe Grace Martez, right? She hasn't been in shit. So I guess she just raised her hand to be in this at the end of the day. It doesn't even look like there's going to be an attempt to even act or have any kind of fun acting in this. It's just going to be, you know, huh? She her her last good movie was uh, Kick Ass, if anybody remembers the first Kick Ass when she was a little kid with Nicolas Cage, S cussing like a freaking truck driver in that movie, and that's what it was just great watching her kick ass. But this, I mean, is anybody interested in this yet? Tom and Jerry were just two characters that just used to beat the shit out of each other, as you can see. And now we need a motion picture on it. I mean, we love we love him right there. I believe that's Michael Payne. Yeah, I don't want to get his name wrong, but he's been in countless good movies. End of Watch was great. He was in. I mean, to me, like... When I'm going to show you the Roger Rabbit trailer, you're going to look at it and be like, okay. So I just don't see the point of this. I keep saying it, it's, just, it, it's annoying. <laughs> this is actually annoying me that they actually wasted their time making this. There's tons of other movies that you can be making, and this is the shit that you want to pump out. Come on, Warner Brothers. You could do better than this. And now look, they give you your Batman reference, 1989 Batman right there. Really? You're going to give us a, a little Batman reference? Like, that's going to make people go, ooh -hoo. No. <laughs> that's my thoughts exactly on the movie. Ugh. It's just, ugh. So, oh. Honestly, does anybody really, really want to see that? I mean, I don't think I do. Even that it's coming out on streaming. Hey, and at the end of the day, I don't want to piss anybody off because there might be some like serious Tom and Jerry fans out there that, you know, really want this. I didn't know it was a thing. But let me take you guys into the 1988 Roger Rabbit trailer. And that right there. Hold on. We just got to share that. One second, everybody. All right. Who framed Roger? Right. Hold on one second. Screen. Okay. All right, everybody, get ready for this. This this was from when I was around, so as a little guy. But this you're already becoming you'll be more entertained by this. than you will with a Tom and Jerry. Like, this actually had a little backstory to it. They had some storyline in it. I mean, the animation. This is 1988 animation, just so everybody knows. Keep it, keep that in your mind. <laughs> you had baby Herman, who wasn't a baby. Cartoon land living in real world land, and there is a cartoon land in this. They have murder in this. Just check it out. Anybody watching this should know about Roger Rabbit. I mean, just looking at that, their animation looks 10 times better than what Tom and Jerry is trying to do. Even though you'll say, oh, but it looks similar. No, it doesn't. It looks better. Like, I think that they should have did a better job with Tom and Jerry. Or just don't make it at all. That won't get you cash. There's no cash in that movie. Sorry, I yanked your ears. <laughs> Old 
haven't cacked him last night. Remember, you never tell me. Sex. I'd do anything for my husband, Mr. Riot. I mean, who didn't want Jessica Rabbit? This crazy fucking Christopher Lloyd. Steven Spielberg. And we all know what Robert Zemeckis directed. The Back to the Future trilogy. So, that, let me get these earphones out here. That was a 1988 movie right there. And then I showed you the preview. I mean, not that anybody really wanted to sit through either of these previews. I just made everybody sit through it because, like I said, we're on an irregular rant right now. <laughs> this is what you're going to have to deal with when you're sitting here with the irregular meal. You're going to have to do some of this shit. Mm -hmm. It's fun, though. It is fun. And as you can see, I do crack myself up a little bit. But look, I just wanted to come in here and just talk some silliness and just go, why Warner Brothers? You didn't have to do this. Um, you should be pumping out better movies than this, not the garbage that you're about to put out with that. I mean, at least Space Jam looks like you put some money into Space Jam. You saw that quick preview and the way the animation looks, and people want to see Looney Tunes. I didn't know anybody wanted to see Tom and Jerry. So, hey. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this irregular rant on Tom and Jerry. Ooh, what the fuck is that? Anyway, go hit that like. Go hit that subscribe. And become a part of the Irregular Nation. Because why wouldn't you want to? Cheers, everybody.